Hi everybody, it's arrived. The Beatles Revolver Super Deluxe Edition. This is the CD version. I've still got the shrink wrap on. I'm going to open this up in a moment and show you exactly what is inside here. Uh, I did a song by, by song review a few days ago, which I know some people have deliberately avoided. Quite understandable because they want to hear the songs first. Uh, but if you do want to go and have a look at that, I will put links around to that. I'm also going to be doing a live listening party, uh, probably uh, in about a week's time, that which will be uh, about three days after release, probably on the Tuesday night, where you can join me. We can all hit play at the same time in our own houses, and we can uh, just enjoy the album together and say what we're enjoying, or maybe even what we're not enjoying. But I'm going to get the cellophane off this now, and we will have a look at what's inside. So here's a close-up of the hype sticker for you. The Beatles Revolver Super Deluxe 5C Edition, new stereo mix by Giles Martin and Sam O'Kell. Two session CDs of outtakes, rehearsals, demos and studio chat. Original 1966 mono album plus bonus EP with paperback writer and rain in new stereo mixers and original 1966 mono. A hundred page hardback book with a foreword by Paul McCartney, extensive historical and track by track information, rare photos and memorabilia. So here's the box now with uh, without the cover on. Now there's there's something pretty cool on this cover which I'm going to try and show you here. Uh, if it doesn't come up, I will take some separate video to try and show it. But it looks like the word revolver doesn't appear on that cover. But if you get it in the right light, which I'm trying to do, and I don't know if it'll work, it does show it at the bottom there. Uh, like I say, I'll uh, I'll show you separately if that hasn't come through. Uh, but the contents then slip out. In terms of style of case. This is closest to the Abbey Road uh, CD box set. Not absolutely identical because that had like a little cutaway in there, but that's really the only difference. It's a nice, nice hard box there with the album cover on the front. There's the side spine there, revolver. Just some credits on the bottom. And then here's all the contents on the back. Okay, you can see a close up photograph there of that so you can uh, read that at your leisure but very nice they've done it sort of uh, very nicely in line with the revolver package that we know and love so what was inside well there are two main things inside so i'm going to go through this and show you first of all what looks like a vinyl lp but it isn't and we'll show you in a moment what's inside but there's looking like looking like revolver there this has got all the cd contents inside so if we open this up, it opens up a bit like a gatefold album. There's all the discs. So let me get each of these discs out and show you what they are. Uh, so first of all, there's Revolver New Stereo Mix. It's got stereo up in the corner there and looks very much like a replica of the normal Revolver album on the back, but has probably got a 2022 credit at the bottom. In fact, uh, no, it doesn't have a 2022 credit at the bottom. Uh, but there you go, there's your disc for the main stereo remix. Um, I, I deliberately don't want to give spoilers about the sound quality on this video because I've done that on the song by song review um, that I've done already. Uh, so that's why I'm kind of avoiding what the song what the songs sound like on here. That is available if you want to go and see that. This is the original mono master. So it does say mono up in the top corner of that. And then on the back of the CD, case again it looks like a familiar revolver album and there's your disc for the mono version of the album so certainly for the vinyl version what we know for certain is that that is a fully analog transfer direct from the master tapes no digital involved in the chain so they haven't they, they haven't uh, cut it to high-res digital and then put it on the vinyl the vinyl will be all analog that is absolutely confirmed now uh, and it's a flat transfer from the original 1966 mono so uh, if you've missed out on the mono version in the past this will be a really good one to have uh, we've then got revolver sessions one so there's that great uh, kind of cover there that, that could have been the, the uh, cover to the album but was never used and it's got the uh, contents on the back there so I'm really enjoying the sessions uh, for this again I don't want to give spoilers away in this video because I've kind of done it elsewhere uh, but I am really enjoying them and I think in terms of the different versions of the different anniversary editions we've had over the last few years uh, I think that the sessions discs here are uh, 
are right up there with anything we've uh, previously had, in my opinion. We've then got Sessions Disc 2, so very similar but uh, a white background on there. And again, we've got the contents on the back. And there's your disc for the Sessions Disc 2. So that's four of the discs covered. The fifth disc is the controversial one, the Revolver EP, four tracks. So uh, this has got new 2022 stereo remixes of Paperback Writer and Rain, of course being the singles from the era recorded during the same sessions. Uh, and it's also got original mono mix of those two songs as well, but certainly to my ears sounds newly remastered. Uh, there's the back of that particular cover. So the, it's a recreation of the of the Paperback Writer uh, 45 single from 1966. Uh, and the CD is done to look in that style as well. So five discs there. Uh, I'm certainly enjoying it all at the moment. That's your five discs. We've also got this booklet. I mean, the booklet itself is worth quite a bit of money. If this was on sale in your local bookshop, this would not be a cheap book, but it's a good quality book there. The Beatles Revolver, hopefully again, if I just move it around, you might see that there's kind of embossed patterns on there that match sort of hair from the front cover from Klaus Vormann's great drawing. It says Revolver on the side and it's uh, clear on the back apart from the Apple logo. So I'm not going to show you all of this book uh, because as I always say in these videos, if you're interested, I would encourage you to buy the, uh, the package but I'm going to show you some selected highlights from it. Uh, that, that not being one of them. Uh, so it's got some, uh, it's got the track list in there, the album of course. Uh, we've got the contents, if you want to see what the, roughly what the contents of the booklet are going to be. I say booklet, it's, this isn't a booklet, this is a fully fledged book. This would, this would grace any coffee table very, very nicely. Uh, so there's going to be lots of photographs in here. I'll try not to use the word booklet again because that's not what it is. We've got the foreword by Paul McCartney written in June 2022. Uh, that of course was Paul's 80th birthday and, and, and obviously then written around the time he headlined Glastonbury. We've got some great session photographs there. Uh, an introduction by Giles Martin. So he'll be describing a little bit about his process there. So let's just pick out some random pages. Uh, we've got... Uh, Track by Track, Adventures in Modern Recording. So we're going to be talking about the, the actual recording of the album there. We've got some more great photographs. Uh, and this particular page happens to be And Your Bird Can Sing. So there's going to be detailed notes about every song on the album. And uh, this, as well as going into detail about the, the main song from the album, it also gives us some information about any sessions versions of that particular song that are appearing on the album uh, when they were done anything sort of special about the recording of it that kind of thing okay so uh, it's a really really nice book and then it's got some cool um sort of cartoon type things towards the end uh, so that's pretty good if you want to have a look at that you see the boys in the studio there you see george martin so a really nice book i'm guessing there's some credits towards the end as well um yeah we've got all details there about uh sort of who did the mixing who did uh who was involved in the project basically uh, if you want to know that kind of information and a nice picture of the boys guitars there at the back so um it's time now for me to slot this in with my other editions and let's have a look at how it looks sat alongside if you're wanting to know for example for shelf space how big is this thing how deep is this thing Let's go and have a look. So there it is. First dilemma, and I worry about these kind of things. Where do I put it? Do I put it before Sergeant Pepper? Or do I put it in the order that it's come uh, as part of the anniversary editions? I don't know, but it's staying here for now anyway. As you can see, this CD box is, I would say roughly the same uh, uh, kind of width as the uh, White Album box from 2018. Not quite as thick as the Let It Be box, but it's the same depth. Uh, this is this is LP size, and I know they've been inconsistent of these uh, anniversary editions, but there you go. What what can we do? We can complain, but does it really matter at the end of the day? 
maybe it does to you, I don't know. But in terms of the depth, how far back it will sit on your shelf, you can see it's the same as the, the Abbey Road CD edition from uh, 2019. So, there you go, it's, uh, it's got its home there. And now, my next worry is, what do I do when the vinyl box comes? Because there ain't no room for it in that cube. I'm gonna have to, uh, gonna have, to have a little shuffle around, I think. So don't forget, I will be back very soon with an unboxing of the vinyl version that I'm gonna be getting, hopefully, roughly the day before release. So please join me for that. Let me know down in the comments, are you getting this box? What are you excited for? Uh, I would love to hear from you as always. And I will be back with plenty more videos on Revolver and of course, lots of other topics as well. I will see you again very soon. Cheers, bye bye.